Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is going to be a weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. First, we're going to get one of these Angel Romance cards. Typically, my readings are love readings, so we're going to go with that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So your soulmate is not your usual type. May not be who you think it is. You're being called to be optimistic here. This person doesn't doesn't look like your usual type and you know they may not at first when you may not think that they're even your kind of you know they're your material or whatever you want to call it but they are you have to look deeper If you guys have been single and you're looking, there's an opportunity for you to no longer be single, okay? Or you may just be desiring to no longer want to be alone. You may be at the point where, you know what, I don't want to be alone. I'm sick of being alone, you know? And if that's the case, you know, it, it may be justice is about to be served. But you have to look outside the box. Keep that in mind, okay? So if you're sick of being single, one of the reasons you're single could be because you're looking for your usual type. The usual, And if you're single, you're single because the usual type didn't work out. So be open. Be really open to it. You may have um, missed an opportunity even if you were looking for the usual. Just just keep that in mind. Um, there's, a, there's a feeling of unhappiness here with, with singlehood, with being alone. But with the Justice card, things could start to turn around, okay? Um, yeah, there could be a relationship on the horizon, Aries, if that's what you're looking for. If you are in a relationship now and, you know, things aren't working out, be sure to look outside that box again. Be sure to understand that, you know, maybe this person doesn't see things the way you see them, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. You know, keep that in mind. Um, I believe that justice is about to be served in your in your name, okay? Because we have justice, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands. This is victory and success in a relationship. Happiness, bliss. So if you guys have been struggling and feeling down, um, perhaps there's a, this, this time, this week, or whenever this resonates for you, you know the energies may be shifting a little bit maybe you have felt a little less than than um rejoiceful you know maybe you felt down in the dumps but maybe somebody's coming in to change that maybe maybe there's somebody coming in that is about to open your eyes but you're gonna have to step outside of your comfort zone okay because this isn't this isn't what you're used to you know the two of wands is do you continue to to go by your old ways, the two of wands is reversed, or do you continue, or do you decide to open up to new perspectives? I mean, what what are you going to do here? This is, is a decision, fear of change, the two of wands reversed. If it didn't, if, if your relationships haven't been working out, it's because you have been reluctant to make changes, you know, to choose a different type. 
you have to choose a different type for it to work out, you know? So I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness and bliss, which leads to victory and success if you decide to broaden your perspective, per se. This, this uh, page of pentacles reversed, this is, there's blockages. There's blockages from your own happiness, and those blockages come from your stubbornness. Okay, they do, because this is a very stubborn energy. So some of you could be taking on a, a stubbornness. You know, this is this is exactly what I want. i got to have it this way. And if that's what you've got to have, then, you know, that's controlling. You can't, you got to be open to other people's differences, okay? So I feel like this is a week of perhaps hopefully letting go of some restrictions letting go of some limitations or things that used to be deal breakers you know maybe you want to um, come up with a list of things that used to be deal breakers that aren't no longer deal breakers you want to be more open that's that's what this whole reading is about be more open okay if you want victory and success and you want a long-term relationship that leads to commitment, if you want things to really work out long-term, you might have to make some compromises, okay? Um, hmm. You may be choosing, you know, a mundane or safe approach because that's what you've always known. You have to step outside. You have to step outside of your comfort zone to allow new beginnings to happen, okay? So let's see what else we can get. Other people can see. Other people can see that, you know, you're not willing to, to learn new ways. Okay, this is upright. He's willing to learn new, new ways, new avenues. In reverse, he's not. He just doesn't care. When that's not bringing any happiness. So other people, your outside circle can see that you're stubborn. You know, I got to have it this way. You know, they can see that you're set in your ways. You need to... Open up, open up. I want to make sure this is focused before I go any further. But your challenge is happiness. Happily ever after, bliss. You have an opportunity for this, but you got to hold your head up high. You got to be confident and you got to be able to step outside of your own perspective and, and allow another person's differences to, to be, to just be. You know, it is what it is, right? So, let's get some clarifiers. Be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the other person. Your ships are in sight. What you've been waiting for is, 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 is in sight. It's here. It's, it's, it's almost here. If it's not... You need to be prepared for it. And if it's not here and you're sick of being single, it's time to get prepared right now. Be ready to open your heart and your mind to somebody different than the last one and the one before that. You know, and you can't continue to think about going back. Okay, this is somebody who's taking a lot of time to, to think about what has caused problems in a relationship, what has caused emotional turmoil, and what they can do to make changes. Okay, the Eight of Cups is reversed, is thinking about love. Okay, it is. What didn't work? What's going to work? What do I need to do? Thinking about what's happened in the past. And you do. You do need to reflect on that. So that you can be sure that for the next one, you're ready. This is getting ready for the next one. Or if you're in a relationship now, this is about thinking about leaving a situation or thinking about going back, something that isn't serving you. So somebody is definitely thinking about that. But you're being called to take a risk and to have faith. Take a risk. That's the message of this, this, this week. Take a risk. And step into the unknown. Yes, this will be unknown territory because it's not what you're used to. But what you're used to didn't work out. So you may be stubbornly holding on, though. Holding on to your old ways. And if that's, if that's what you want, you know, then you may continue to struggle. You have to be confident. There's lack of, of self-esteem here as well.
you need to you need to allow yourself to look at things from a new perspective this is a new perspective it's new clarity it's a new awakening it's a new truth it's a new you it's a new process in thinking You know, but I feel like you're on the defensive. You got your on you've got your guard up. You need to let your guard down and not be so ready to defend yourself, you know, not not be so ready to pounce. You know, there's a new opportunity coming in for you. There is. I know there is. All you have to do is give it a chance. Give it a chance, take a risk, Aries. There's an opportunity for something that could make you very, very happy. It's like, it's your turn. And I understand that this is a heavy decision because this person is not your usual type, but you are being called to take a leap of faith. This is, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here that could lead to love. But you got to let your guard down, like I said. Fear of the unknown is really, really big. You know, I feel like you guys are, you see the truth. You know this, that you need to look outside the box, but it's uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable, isn't it? It is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for every single one of us. Allow yourself to take that blindfold off and stop blocking a new beginning. You have to have faith. You have to take a risk to find happiness. You have to. So I feel like this is a week. <laughs> Look what's on the bottom. Son of a gun. I was going to stop here and then go to my other deck. You can't. It's trying to control or trying to keep things the way they are hasn't worked. You need to let go of the need to control and let the universe bring in the changes that they're trying to bring in. Something hasn't worked out in the past for a reason. Go with the flow. Just go with it. Go with this new beginning that it wants to be presented to you. This person, this situation is not your usual, and that's happening for a reason. So it can be successful, so that you can have victory and success. But if you try to control it, if you try to stay where you're at, then you're going to continue to have chaos and disorder and even some anger inside because things aren't working out. You need to let go of the need to control, please. Please. Allow something to play out. There's an opportunity for love that could lead to happiness, bliss, victory, and success. But you have to let go of your old ways. I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's what this is. We're going to get you one of these um, Oracle cards. So I do feel like there's an opportunity for a connection here with somebody that's not your usual type if you would allow them to be themselves, you know, just be and accept it, accept. We're going to read it. In the world not of the world. It is safe for you to become naked with life. This doesn't necessarily mean stripping off and running wild in public. It does not mean stripping back your beliefs, strongholds, and mental or emotional security blankets so you can live with less obstruction than ever before. Imagine the conditioning that has kept life away from you just kept it dropping out of your hands the conditioning like keys coins or clocks conditioned beliefs about money time security having locking away holding and controlling can be surrendered and allowed to fall away what would it be like to feel as though you were on a holiday every day perhaps there would be a softening in your way with life an implicit trust in its flow and a faith in the ability of time to bend and stretch as needed so that all may be accomplished. 
It's amazing how these cards come out with the reading. It really is. It is at it is at an advanced stage of our spiritual relationship with life that we are able to feel held within it sufficiently enough to surrender our defenses defenses layer by layer and to nakedly accept what is. This oracle comes as a message to you. Sometimes we need our defenses, which you use quite often, right? You do. At other times, it is clear we are outgrowing them. <laughs> it's amazing. This is something that you have outgrown. It has to do with your ideas about productivity, time, control, and money. It has to do with abundance, trust, and living with the fundamental belief that everything is going to turn out okay. You are ready to be much more vulnerable and exposed in life. You don't have to hide behind being organized, perfect, in control, or financially secure and stable. Nor do you need any other acceptable social face. It is time for you to loosen the strings of your own controlling nature. They are too tight and too restrictive for you anyway. You were born to live in a much freer way. When you live as you innately are, rather than how you have been conditioned to be, you will experience greater joy, freedom, and support. When you are not resisting yourself or resisting life, there is less resisting what you need as it comes to you. If you have drawn the oracle of faith in the process, which we have not, this is a particularly strong message for you. This is a message that you are shedding. And you are shedding. I know that you are. So, you are being guided to trust. If you have... We don't, we don't have that one. You are being guided to trust. Keep an open mind. There's an opportunity for love here. With somebody that is not your usual type. Go with it. Just go with it, please. Talk to you next week.